beauty competition for plus-size women. The contestants are cross that it's been given the title of fat beauty contest because they perceive themselves as voluptuous, large, curvy, whatever. The event is certainly evidence of a fight back against the modern obsession with thinness. Britain has become a fattest society, reinforced every day by images of stick-thin models whose shape bears no resemblance to the average British woman. But a provocative backlash is underway in the United States. Debbie Shannon, your Miss Plus America 2000. Plus-size beauty pageants for fat women celebrate flesh and curves. But is Britain ready to accept that fat can also be beautiful? One woman thinks so. Charlotte Coyle believes it's time for a change. She's agreed to organise a contest in the UK to challenge the notion that only skinny women can be attractive. Show me your face. No! stuff and with us now the brains behind that competition it's all her idea Charlotte Coyle with two of the favorites to lift the crown Zoe Millman and Carly Amphlett uh, you both did very well we're not going to say who won and Thank how you. far you all got but you, you both did very very well and deservedly um, this is this is a, a big idea mm -hmm. um, did you have sort of trouble getting it off the ground promoting it you know I did it was really hard to get people interested you know once I said the word plus size it was like um, okay, and then the phone kind of went dead. So it was really, really hard, and it was really stressful. The fact I've never, ever done anything like this before. Yeah. But you are a model, aren't you? It, yeah, I'm a yeah. plus-size model. But you can't be a plus-size model in this country. No, because, no. Because the limit is a size 16, and you're a... 16, and 18. You're an 18. Who says? Who says that's the limit? The plus-size fashion industry in England. <laughs> so you do it in America? I do do it in America, and I was quite successful in America, and then coming back to England, you know, it really did affect my confidence. Yeah. Being told it was too big. Yeah. Even knowing that in America it was it's cool to to, to, to be this size, and actually m most women in Britain are size 16 or above. Of we, course, you know, we know of that. course. Even knowing that that's the reality, you're, even you are still affected by the prejudice in this country. Of course, yeah. of course. And I would be quite comfortable in my body. I don't have an issue, and I don't see why I should, you know? No. Well, can we see, okay. should, before we talk to the girls, should we just, just see you getting them in the mood, as it were? Because oh. um, you recruited, and you, mm. and, and you held auditions, and you winnowed it down to how many actually went into the phone? Um, Twelve. To yes. Twelve, okay. And here's you basically getting the girls in the mood giving them a bit of, bit of inspiration. Charlotte desperately needs to boost the girl's confidence. Later that day, she receives a delivery she's hoping will help. I've got a surprise for you. On the night, you're going to all have one of these. <laughs> Do you like it? Handmade corset. <laughs> Everyone's gonna have boobs. Thank you, Julia. It's gonna be. Charlotte's awesome. determination unexpectedly paid off. I feel absolutely beautiful in this corset. It feels so feminine and so sexy. It feels lovely. I can't believe we've got a waist. <laughs> I'm like a dirty old woman. I'm just going. <laughs> <laughs> Courses are fantastic, aren't they? they? I think they great. should be compulsory. I know. <laughs> tiny, tiny waist. Did you? Um, you all had one hand made for for each of you, didn't you? That's right. Yeah. yeah. You, you, when Carly, when we first saw you there, you looked slightly shocked, shocked, <laughs> and not very pleased. No, I, I was. I was surprised. It was the last thing that I was expecting. We had no idea what the theme was going to be. That was when it was first realised to us yeah. the burlesque theme, and then seeing what Charlotte looked like in it, and never having worn one myself, I couldn't imagine what it was going to look like but yeah. we put them on and it was just amazing absolutely we all had waists and, and bits sticking out in the right place for once it was fabulous <laughs> right. up and down and round and well, way <laughs> okay so you get a waist where you haven't got a waist usually yeah what happens to all the stuff that it sort of squishes down all right because um yeah i mean exactly. you, 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 once you take it off uh -huh. once you take it off you can't actually get it back on again until you loosen it then <laughs> then tie it back in again because i tried it on again Fantastic. and then you have to kind of loosen it up before you can tighten it up yeah, yeah. and it's a two-person job you have to be very friendly with someone and it, does it does it kind of um, make breathing difficult and stuff Surprisingly like that? Surprisingly not, no. Because I mean, yeah. I, I sing, so 
so I was a bit worried about you know where things were going. Yeah. And um, and it just makes you very upright and you know, yeah. actually, actually deportment yeah, and, and it adds to the whole demeanour of it. As ladies so. used to be. Absolutely. Um, mm. We're going to look at both of you and your progress throughout this. Um, we're going to start with you, Zoe. Okay. So from the beginning until you know when you first mm -hmm. met and you kept you kept telling her how fantastic I she know. was. <laughs> you really had to work hard on confidence, didn't you? Especially mm. with Carly here. But we'll look at her mm. in a minute. Here's Zoe. I'm not invisible. Uh, hello. Duh. I'm not invisible. I'm tall. I'm ginger. I'm big. Sorry. Was that choice? I think you're fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> hello. Got some news for you, Zoe. Right. I'm gonna let you through. And the final twelve. Oh my God. There's a crap moment. Oh crap. <laughs> Too fast. Slow it down. You want them to see. <laughs> Show me your face. Should be natural. I can't believe I can't walk, dance, or um, use my face today. So, um, so I'm really confidence built. So I've got up on stage. It's taken me more guts than I actually thought I had. I thought, yeah, I'm fairly blousy, ballsy, whatever. But I'm thinking, oh my god, I've done it, and I finally got through it. <laughs> Who were the judges, actually? It was Daniel Galvin. He actually did oh, the hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was fantastic. He's such a nice man. Um, Caroline Baxter. From New Woman, New she woman, was yeah. fashion editor and a representative from Marks and Spencer's, an executive. Oh, All right. excellent! Right, so okay. it was a nice lineup. Good. Did it feel as 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 the rehearsals went, got underway and the heats got underway and stuff? Did it feel surreal? I mean, because presumably you'd not been in a beauty competition before, and as you've, and, I mean, I've read from the notes, you've both said you all women above a certain size come in for a, a bit of abuse, don't they? And, and teasing mm. and bullying mm. and all the rest of it. And yet here you are, completely turning it round and yeah. saying, "Yeah, that's right. I am big. Bring it on." Yeah. Um, how hard was it to, to turn that around in your head, for you in particular, love? Because you were a bit... It was a real it. journey for was me. It? I've never done anything like that before. Just for having the cameras on you like that, exposing some of my most inner securities, mm. knowing that even my friends didn't know that I had the, ins the insecurities that I did have because I keep them secret. You put a big smile on them. Yeah, yeah, you put the smile out, you're bubbly, but yeah. deep inside, you know, you're feeling it. And at, so. what point, at what point did you... Believe in the message so that suddenly the message is it's this is fine This is fine to be plus 16 rather than just sort of acting the message and putting on the bright smile But actually when did you believe yeah, this is good. This is fine I look good when I had the support and when I had the girls around that had all been through similar experiences that I had been through mm. um, I had quite an emotional t chat with Charlotte um, When I really sort of let it out how I was feeling about it and then realized that actually most of us had been putting on this bubbly you know, personality over the top of it, and deep inside we were really, mm. um, you Struggling know, with it, yeah. yeah, feeling very insecure. Well, talk talk to you more about that, no, but let's just actually see you because you really were. I mean, you you were quite weepy at the beginning, mm -hmm. weren't you? Okay, here we go. Charlotte knows that the first lesson at Beauty Queen Boot Camp is mastering the catwalk strut. Carly, give it to me. <laughs> um, no, it's like you're going, naughty doctor. Yeah, sorry. No, don't be sorry. I find it hard just doing it just now. When Charlotte was telling me to feel sexy and feel um, confident and love the catwalk, I found it really hard to do because I just don't feel that way. But I really want to be here and I really want to do it. And I want to walk on that catwalk and feel proud. I'm nervous about cocking my walk up. Can I say cocking? Sorry. Just feel elated at the moment. Just thrilled and proud of myself. Well, you yeah. certainly look very happy there. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, I'm astonished that there's so much. It don't isn't it awful? There's so much mm. misery among women about their mm -hmm. body image. I mean, in fact, this is part. This particular program uh -huh. is part of a Channel Four series shape on, of the nation. On, yeah. the, on the shape of the nation. How we're all obsessed with it. It, it must. And it must be dreadful, dreadful to live with. Do, do, does it ever make you think? I mean, have you? You've always. You're mm -hmm. very tall. I was saying mm. that about all mm, of you you're before. Awesome. You're five eleven. You're mm. six foot, aren't mm. you? And you're five eight, which is quite tall. Have you always sort of? accepted yourself as as big and that's fine and it's just other people's attitudes no well personally for me when i was younger growing up i, I think i've been 5 11 since i was 11. Mm -hmm. so i was always this really big person i used yeah. to be really really like low self-esteem and low self-confidence and then i got to the point i was like 
you know, I'm never going to be skinny, yeah. ever, ever, and just be happy or I'm going to be miserable until the day I die. So yeah. just have to work within, within yourself. It comes from within. Yeah. But so, you're, you're very pretty, aren't you? I mean, people have said that to you, aren't you? Thank you. <laughs> you, have, you, have, you have an extremely pretty face. I mean, has that been something that you've, that you've been conscious of and has sort of, you know, helped you through those, those doubtful times? Of course, of course. Um, I don't know. That's oh, I, don't, I don't want to be all big-headed, but um, no, I don't know. You're it's it's kind of helped me. You know, mm. you look in the mirror and you like what you see. Yes. Mm. And do you, do you as well? Do you yeah, look in the I mean, mirror? I mean, like as I keep saying, that my IQ points don't go down because my breast mm. size has gone up. Do you like <laughs> yourself? <laughs> I like myself. I think I'm fabulous. Yeah. You know, mm. you know, this is me. This is how I'm. It's your problem, not mine. Absolutely. And that, that's 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 the whole ethos of the program. I mean, mm. one one thing <coughs> they said on the, on the program where well, they were bitching back saying, "No, we were all there for a common goal." Yeah, I could really? tell you. And, 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 and we were all kind of literally yeah. in this mental group hug all the time because we were all there for the right reasons and there to, to yeah. prove ourselves yeah. that we are valid well, people. And, and, and that and that being big doesn't mean you can't look just as glamorous. Absolutely. As anybody yeah. else. I agree. Yeah. That's why those corsets were so such I a know. fantastic idea. Amazing. Well, <laughs> I mean, I would say good luck in the competition. But it's over now. It's been filmed. We know mm -hmm. who's won, and we're not going to say. Um, but uh, you all did very well. And well done Thank you for you. getting it off the ground. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank, Thank you. Thank you. And uh, the shape of the it's called Shape of the Nation Fat Beauty Contest. They don't like that title, mm. and I can't <laughs> say I blame them. Uh, <laughs> it's on tomorrow night at nine o'clock.